Good morning, YouTube. This fancy object is a dodecahedron, that means 12 pentagonal faces, with a quintic uh, filled Julia set on each one of the faces. Um, there's one for two dust. I think this is the for two dust on it. Um, so if you're interested and you have a 3D laser etcher, um, there's a link to a tarball which contains 12 SVG files so that you can um, generate these individual uh, images or you can laser etch each one of them. Um, I think the really nice thing about this is the degree of symmetry it has and the fact that it's very arresting on the attention. Um, uh, it's, it's possible to do this with all of the platonic solids, um, the cube and the tetrahedra, and the icosahedron and the octahedron, but it, I think the, the dodecahedron is probably the prettiest. Uh, and I'm planning on playing around with the 3D printed versions one of these and UV reactive dyes. Um, Ideally, uh, one, if, if one wanted to be really ridiculous, one could get an uh, organic LED shaped like a pentagon with really gnarly control mechanisms beneath to have um, these display uh, changing uh, patterns. Uh, but I think that's pretty expensive at the moment. So this is, uh, this is a, a, a sort of prototype slash model that's going to go up as a mobile in my room. But, uh, the, as I said, the STL files for this are available. Um, it's owen, O-W-E-N, dot marish, M-A-R-E-S-H, dot I-N-F-O, slash hyperthistle, H-Y-P-E-R-T-H-I-S-T-L-E, dot tar. Um, and the SVG files are printable in Inkscape. Uh, if you rescale them, rescale them all at the same scaling so the pentagons still fit to each other. And uh, etch black, but cut red. Anyway, have a good night, everyone.